All right, if you would please just explain to me uh, why you want to run for office and what you meant by corruption when you did initially announce your run. Okay. Well, there's three main reasons I want to run for office. One, there's no leadership there. The, uh, my opponent won't prosecute a case, hasn't prosecuted a case in 12 years, and will tell you he's an administrator and won't prosecute a case. The description of the elected district attorney under important duties is to prosecute high-profile cases. The second reason uh, that I would like to run for office, again, is, is the corruption that I, I saw there concerning the Mackin case. And that's my opinion. When he asked me to sign a letter that wasn't true, uh, that to me is unethical and it's corrupt. It's trying to cover up something. He stopped the investigation before we could complete it. I was trying to get the warrants from the court. Those are the warrants you want to read. And it's interesting that in the last two and a half or three years, nobody from the Sheriff's Department or the DA's office went and got the court's copy of the warrants. Any prosecutor with any experience whatsoever knows those are the warrants you look at. Um, the third reason is the high turnover rate there. Again, I've, I've told this numerous times in my debate. In 2015, he demoted his assistant district attorney, promoted me into her place. I wouldn't sign those documents that weren't false or approve warrants from an individual who was under an investigation. I left. Then he had an interim assistant district attorney, Jenny. She lasted three months to six months. She left for another county. Then he hired a gentleman by the name of Joe who everything I heard about him, he was a great guy, very experienced, knew how to try cases, had murder trials under his belt. He lasted about a year. He left for another county. Now he's got yet another individual from the Bay Area who he hired in 2017. That's five assistant DAs in three years. That's turmoil in that office. Where I work now, our chief deputy just retired. He'd been the chief deputy for 29 years. You need a stable office for the prosecutors, the line prosecutors, to um, respect you and to stick around. If they stick around, they become experienced, and that experience makes them more effective in the court, and that's better for Nevada County. Uh, what, what are your thoughts on accusations that Jason Mackey and his actions uh, constitute corruption by both the sheriff's office as well as your own? They're completely unfounded, and they're false allegations. And you know, we're not finished with all the litigation around it, but I will note that throughout the process over the last two years, since 2015 this started, uh, Jason Mackey has been at every court hearing, ready to testify on his behalf and on the behalf of his cases, and we have I have absolutely supported that. When there was an initial allegation made about Mackey being, uh, having done something wrong, I did the analysis myself. I looked at all of his search warrants. He has nothing in there to hide. And I'm, I've professed that the entire time. And the facts, as I've heard him coming out in court by reading the transcripts, are that he did do nothing wrong and it's just finally coming to light. Um, there's no collusion or agreement between me and the sheriff's department. Uh, this particular issue was investigated from two different perspectives. I investigated it from the perspective of did he write or try to deceive in a search warrant that was approved by my office and approved by a judge and later reviewed by a judge. Um, and it was my... Uh, my conclusion that he did not. He did nothing illegal, or if he had, I wouldn't be taking a search warrant. Uh, that's the power. But I'm also in the position where I'm not going to throw him, another person or man, under the bus for political expediency just to cover my butt because it's inconvenient because we have to do a bunch of litigation to show that he didn't do anything. Um, the bottom line is it'll come out with court rulings that are pending right now and I have every belief in the world that it'll come out uh, that vindicates him completely. Uh, if, you know, the evidence is out there on the road, out there on the record at this point. So 
we'll just keep going and let the judge do it.